Welcome back to the Lego Club Show. Hi, I'm Josh Wexler. I'm one of the producers of Lego Atlantis, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about how we made the movie. One of the first questions that I was asked was, how do we make Lego Atlantis into a 3D movie? Well, oddly enough, we actually start it as a 2D movie, but we start the process essentially with designing what the shots look like on paper. So artists still use pencils and crayons and markers to kind of create the look of the movie and define what every shot looks like. From there, it's brought into the computer and the assets are modeled, as you see, turned into 3D geometry and we begin the animation process, but to turn it into stereoscopic 3D, we actually use uh, two virtual cameras in the computer, one for the left eye and one for the right eye to essentially mimic the way that your eyes work. And we create two images that uh, look at the scene from two slightly different angles, basically. And when those two scenes are sandwiched together and you look at them through either polarized glasses or the red and blue anaglyph glasses like you might have on your computer, uh, it basically tricks your brain into the perception of creating depth and that gives you the 3D effect. My favorite effect on the film definitely has to be the reveal of all the submarines that our heroes just built and when the ramp opens up to the Neptune and they all come flying out, you know, we did a big 3D moment there and uh, if you're watching uh, Atlantis on your computer or in the movie theater and you see those submarines come out they literally come right off the screen and right through you know your glasses that's my favorite effect on the show um, I'd have to say that the most challenging thing on this movie was uh, setting almost the entire picture underwater we had to figure out ways to create a computer generated underwater environment that not only looked like our characters were in the water but also sort of felt true to the Lego Atlantis world so we had to ultimately give you a sense of true depth and that these guys were deeper than 30,000 feet under the ocean searching for the lost city of Atlantis. We did that through a number of things by adding particles in the water, by slowing down the way the characters actually move throughout their environment, uh, through a lot of the bubble effects and even things as simple as the sound design that give you the clues or the hints that you're underwater uh, really helps uh, ultimately sell it. That was probably the most challenging thing that we had to deal with. I can honestly say the best part about working on any Lego production, of course, is playing with Lego and building you know, Lego toys and creating new scenery and things like that for our movie and working with the guys at the Lego company. That is, uh, um, without a doubt, the best part of working on any LEGO production, including Atlantis, just because we get to play with LEGO toys, and how can you beat that? Stay tuned to legoclub.com for more from this super awesome episode of the LEGO Club Show.